Heading towards the end game for these four riders up front. Their advantage uh, is being whittled away by the bunch behind. It uh, was up around about three minutes. Peter Williams up front all day for note for Giordana. Joined by uh, Jack Bobridge of uh, Orica Green Edge. Simon Richardson up there for IG Sigma Sport. And uh, Wesley Crater, the young man from the Netherlands with the uh, Vacon Soleil squad. Yep, KOM here coming up now. So now 900 metres uh, with... 20% is the, the steeper parts. So a tough climb. Short but sharp. Peter Williams uh, rolling through. Jack Bobridge, uh, that uh, busy style of his. Not really uh, enjoying the gradient. And the gap between them now, just uh, hovering around about a minute. Team net up on the front. They've come to the front, so they uh, believe they can do something. Is this for uh, stage honours or perhaps even for uh, for something overall? Well, overall is uh, pretty much uh, out of it for them, so it's uh, trying to set something up. Well, I tell you, I think you'll <laughs> find it net up. They're riding for their rider, Leopold Koenig, who's shown so strongly in the last couple of stages, and I can only imagine that it's him that they're trying to set up for the stage win. Up front, Team Netap absolutely flying, but Jonathan tiernan Lock looks pretty comfortable there. Yeah, Netap really have put the pressure on the rest of the peloton here, but uh, no pressure whatsoever for tiernan Lock. In fact, it looks like he's going on the attack himself. He's coming out of the wheels there, and there it is, game over. Those four riders that have been out front all day that's it. That's, That's the end of their day. They had a minute to get it at the bottom of the hill, you know, less than a kilometre ago. As Simon Richardson press, presses on, whatever Jack Bobridge said to him, uh, he's ignoring at this point. So uh, great opportunity for these two riders to at least hang on, and perhaps indeed the other two as well, to hang on in whatever uh, group establishes over the top with 45 kilometres to go to the end of the race. It's a tough ask for this uh, group to stay out front, but they've certainly absolutely blown the race apart up front. It is, and here we can see Vacon Soleil just coming across now. Sanchez in his wheel. And uh, these guys here, it's, well, it's every man for himself at the moment. We've got Netap still just applying, applying some pressure, trying to keep the speed high. But the main protagonists here, Tiernan Locke, Caruso, Haas, they're all here. So that's the top three taken care of. Lee Howard seems to have been distant some. And uh, no look for Uskal Tell. They seem to have been tailed off. Urtasun so strong in uh, yesterday's stage and taking victory in yesterday's stage, but he may have left his legs uh, in Dartmouth because uh, struggling to get across to this group. And Team Netap, well represented with two riders. And uh, Jonathan Tiernan Locke looking comfortable in second position and playing a watching brief, but uh, he's on his own for the moment, at least. Yeah. And this is a little bit of concern for uh, for Endura. Not really, no. He's all, just so strong. His, yeah, all yeah. he's got to do, he's just got to follow. He doesn't have to go on the offensive, he doesn't have to attack. All he needs to do is follow as Netap here. Just uh, putting one of his, his teammates out the back there. Bobridge is desperately trying to cling on and stay in contention here. He's been out there all day. And I can see just in the background, that looks like the Endura rider, Paul Voss, the German coming across and was that uh, Josh Edmondson just going out of the shot there also trying to go across this is quite a big group here well if Voss makes it across it's a it's a great effort because of course he was collecting bottles not too far from the uh, from the bottom of the hill so if he's managed to make his way through the group it'll be a great effort but for any of these Enduro racing riders they've been on the front all week and uh, they'll be tired legs but they know that they want to try and give him some support in that lead group team NetApp uh, nicely represented with uh, two riders and uh, Damiano Caruso also there, and Nathan Haas uh, absolutely flying for Garmin. Edmondson it is, by the looks of it, coming across. Well, it's been a great...